an Aussie accent on the plane, we're like, oh, home, home. <laughs> I'm watching the ashes. Been the last game before the World Cup to really focus on what we've been working on. We've been training a lot, we've been training hard, getting fit, getting firing. Everything's preparing for the first game that's coming up. Yeah, real buzz around the camp and for the tournament, which is I think 10 days away now, so I'm just very excited. See ya. You know, I was the kid one. 12 years ago now, going to my first World Cup and knew that they were looking at other players, you know, Lisa Devine or Sarah Walsh, and I was like, oh, this is my opportunity to do something. So if two people are marking me, that means someone else is free. So it might be someone else's tournament to shine and that's all part of being in the team. So whatever it takes to win, honestly, and if I take away two players, good for them. We've got electric speed everywhere else and good luck to them. We are doing the squad presentation, which we are both very excited for, seeing the girls get their jerseys. The women's game is growing so much, and it's just getting better and better every time they step onto the fish. Of course, I'd like to see them really put on a show. Let's welcome your comeback, Matildas! I think it's so important that girls, young girls, can see what it's like to be an athlete, and like, how can they know what they want to be if they're older if they can't ever see it. So having these events, having the Matildas out here, it's really important and it's just like a whole display of women's sport. I'm just excited for all the female empowerment, just cheering on women in sports. They're awesome. The girls, they're rocking it. We're looking forward to seeing them. Yeah. <laughs> Just coming here and doing these things and seeing the fans and you know having a stadium packed out on Friday, it gives you a buzz that you don't get away from home, so it's going to be amazing. Oh, vibes are immaculate. <laughs> Everyone seems buzzing um, in camp. I think it was a really good turnout yesterday at the presentation, so I think everyone's just come to get, get the games underway. It was sad that I missed out, but it was nice Minnie and Tegan to collect it on my behalf. It just makes it so much more exciting seeing everyone get around us. I'm very grateful. I never thought two years ago that I'd be going to the World Cup and I just want to take take it all in and enjoy the opportunity. The France are a world-class team and we're going to come up against world-class teams as well so it's great prep for us and we could potentially face them as well. This is like a pre-show to our opening game. Tomorrow's 50,000 and next Thursday is 83,000 so I guess the feeling of tomorrow you're going to think whoa this is incredible and then having in the back of your mind next week it's going to be double this. So that just gives me goosebumps kind of talking about it. The last game, our send off game before the World Cup so what better to do it in a sold out stadium here in Melbourne and can't wait for the battle. and welcome to Marvel Stadium. The Matildas against France just a week out from the biggest night in women's football in this country. The opening match of the World Cup against the Republic of Ireland. It's the 14th of July, Bastille Day in France. It's the history of a revolution. Well, for 50,000 in attendance this evening, it's the women's football revolution in Australia. And the send-off match is underway and here's Caitlin Ford now here they come again with Rasso Sam Kerr accelerating a very interesting 
entertaining first half of football in this final warm-up match ahead of the FIFA Women's World Cup 2023, which kicks off in just a week's time. Courtney Vine replaced by Mary Fowler. And we are underway. Just some tensions rising here between Rasamir and Alana Kennedy. And Sam Kerr had an excellent first half as well, replaced by Emily Van Egmond. Great job, thank you. Honestly, I saw her running and I was like, I need so much space. <laughs> and then she took a touch and I was like, oh no. But, <laughs> but then she still played it. So I don't know. I think you don't really think in those moments. You just kind of do it. So like, I don't know. I just took a touch and then I was like, you better score. And I did. So yeah, it was good. Australia won, France nil. Just a send-off game, a preparation one, the big one comes against Ireland in the 20th, okay?